Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can take an image like the one on the left and add a nice blue sky to it like the one on the right. And we're going to do this in Photoshop by painting in the sky. If you would like to follow along with this tutorial, I'm going to give you the link to download the image that I'm using from morgfile.com. Once you've downloaded the image, you'll open it inside Photoshop as I have here. And then you'll click here on the new layer icon to add a new layer to the image. If your layers palette isn't visible, choose Window and then Layers to display it. Then you need to select a blue for the sky. Now I've selected this kind of blue, but you can choose whatever blue you want. Select the Paintbrush tool and increase the paintbrush size so that you're going to paint over this area fairly easily. And the kind of paintbrush you want is one of these, this sort of soft edge paintbrush. Now with this image, because I've done this a couple of times, I'm just going to warn you as to what you need to do. You don't want to get paint too much into the lighter areas of the building, but you do want to cover the very edges of the building. It's critical that you paint over the edges of the building, but where the building gets light, for example in these windows here, it's best if you don't get the paint into those areas. To do that, just adjust the size of your paintbrush. You can do that using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. The open square bracket key will decrease the size of the paintbrush and the close square bracket key will enlarge it. So I'm being careful just to paint over the very edges of the building, but try and avoid painting in here because that building is very light and it just might find that I get a bit of blue bleeding into there later, which I'd have to erase. But I do need, as I said, to get over the very edges of the building. So once you've done your painting, it's time to do the blending. Select the blue layer, the sky layer, and press the FX icon here and select Blending Options. The blending option that you want is this Blend If slider down here. And you're going for the one on the underlying layer and at this dark end. And you'll see that you can just drag this slider across and as you do so, the building comes back. We're blending the sky in with the layer underneath. Now if you go too far, you'll see that some of the sky underneath starts to appear. So you want to find the point which works best for you. This slider can also be divided, so you can hold the Alt or Option key and just split it. And sometimes you'll be able to get better results by splitting it. Here I'm watching that the blue sky doesn't bleed into that building there, but it's still in this area here. So just by tweaking these sliders, I can get the blue sky where I want it and nowhere where I don't want it. And I'll click OK. If you had a little bit of blue sky bleeding into something, for example, if you'd painted too close to the clock or too close to this building, then you would just go and get the eraser key, click on this layer and just erase the blue sky from that building. But if you're pretty careful about how you paint, it's going to work out pretty well. This effect is going to work best for images where there's a clear distinction between the original building and the white sky, where it's very easy to see the edges. It's going to work less well in situations where, for example, you have trees along the skyline, but I have another video that will show you how to do that. But here is the paint on sky effect in Photoshop. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.